Yo! Yo, we girls. See if I can position this a little bit better. On my way to work. That's about as good as it's gonna get, people. That is about oh, that's even worse. Alright. So on my way to work, we've had uh, a couple people ask me what I think about this cult thing going on. Uh, Noodles in particular wants me to speak on it, so I will be speaking on it. I hope you guys can hear me all right. Um, yeah, so cult, right? Cult, uh, I gave up on cult a while ago. I saw I saw a Hank Strange video at SHOT Show. Uh, I think it was last year, maybe the year before, but I'm pretty sure it was last year, and he was going around to all the booths all the booths in um, at range day at SHOT Show or whatever. And uh, he was interviewing people, people were showcasing their new products, and then at the end of it, he would ask them, you know, what, what, what is your stance on the Second Amendment? What do you guys think about the Second Amendment? What are you doing to help fight for the Second Amendment? You know, yada, yada, yada. Every other person that he interviewed um, were like, yeah, we're all about it, we love it, we wouldn't be here without it. And, uh, you know, we love you guys, and, and this is what it's all about. And he gets to Colt's booth, and they're showcasing their new overpriced bullshit, probably outsourced fucking pistols and revolvers, uh, because their new Colt Cobras look like fucking Rossi made them. They're garbage. Looks like it's made out of pop metal, and uh, a monkey put that shit together. Uh, but, yeah, so, and, and when he got to Colt, you know, after they showcased all their, their garbage pistols and stuff, um... The guy, actually one of the guys on Colt's pro shooter team, uh, I forget his name, but uh, he said he didn't have any comment. He says that they're told not to comment on stuff like that. You are a gun company, and, and you're, you're not going to comment on the Second Amendment. So it was at that point that I, I just gave up all hope hope for Colt, and I was like, you know what, that's, that's it. I'm done with you guys. I've spent thousands upon thousands upon thousands of dollars on cold products over the years. A lot of them, most of that money has been spent on old, you know, classic 1911s, old revolvers from like the 70s or before, stuff like that. So, uh, not, you know, I bought a couple of their new 1911s. I bought one of their special combat governments. I bought a couple of the newer Series 70s, whatever. I have a few of their ARs, but I have not bought anything since I saw that Hank Strange video. And, and it's really a damn shame because um, they're such a classic American company. You know, Colt was American as apple pie and baseball. They held all the military contracts. You know, the Colt 1911, you know, the, all, all types of classic designs. You know, uh, how about the uh, single action army? How about that one? Take it way back. Um, very rich in history. And uh, they've definitely gone down the shithole. Uh, they've been bailed out by the state. They're broke. They've been, they've been bailed out multiple, multiple times by the state of Connecticut and uh, stuff like that. There are no, no longer union workers or whatever it may be. Um, they are producing currently some of the worst guns that they've ever made. Working in a gun shop, I see them come out of the box scratched, you know, rusted. The fit and finish is terrible. There's like six mils of play in the slide to frame fit. I mean, that thing's a rattle trap, uh, you know, as far as their 1911s go. Their, their Cobras are just garbage. They look like absolute pot metal. They've got a simple bead blasted finish on them, uh, which is just gonna rust, even if it's a stainless gun like that, uh, or Dan Wesson hammers, you know. And uh, it's just, it's, it's really a shame, but at the same time, forget about Colt. Who, who needs them anyway? They're still selling a basic M4 style gun with plastic handguards for $1,000, if not more. You can go get a gun that's made better for half the price at Palmetto State Armory, um, which also feel free to use my affiliate links on the Facebook page to do so if you want to do that. But PSA believes in arming America, which is why they're not. You don't ever see them, you know, on the on this political bullshit, um, and that's why their stuff is so affordable because. Uh, they, the, the CEO wants to arm America. He wants to put an AR-15 in everybody's hand. Um, and that's awesome. I could respect that all day, every single day. And, um, and Colt, 
you know, some could argue that, because I see it myself, some could argue that, oh, well, their, their guns aren't selling anyway, which makes sense because we've got Colts that are sitting on the shelf that have been there for years and people just don't want them because they're basic guns and they're the same price or damn near close to it, some really tricked out higher end guns. You know, you start talking a Colt Combat Unit Carbine for $1,300, you could go get a BCM. You could get a PSA with sights, um, you know, an optic, sling, mags, ammo, and a training course for the same price as buying that one basic ass Colt. You know, there's a there's a lot there. There the market is is gone away from Colt because they refused to innovate when it was the time to innovate. They were offering plastic handguards on their guns when people wanted free floated guns. Uh, they were offering GI style 1911s when people wanted extended controls, extended beaver tail grip safeties. They they basically wrote off their name and the fact that they had government contracts, which they no longer do. Um, they might have some law enforcement agencies. They might have, um, you know, the guns are definitely still floating around in the military. Um, but FN has basically taken over that as far as the military goes. But the fact that they, they are no longer selling ARs to civilians and knowing that they don't feel like commenting on the Second Amendment when asked, um, it definitely looks a little sketchy. And uh, But they still could just be, because it's not feasible for them and they're losing money, they've been losing money, they just keep getting bailed out because they're putting out garbage products. And uh, so I think it's probably about 50-50. I think, you know, with the political nonsense that's going on and all the infringement that's going to take place, if we don't do something about it, um, I think they're just kind of getting out of the game so they don't have to worry about it. They're cucking to the government. They're cucking to the anti-gunners. Um, but at the same time, people don't want their bullshit guns anyway. So I would have to say that it's about 50-50 uh, when it comes down to that. I'm sorry I can't read what you guys are saying. Shout out to everybody that showed up. If you are in the chat, hit that thumbs up button. Um, I'm on my way to work right now. And uh, Noodles left me a comment about an hour ago saying he wants me to talk about the cold stuff. So I'm talking about the cold stuff. Um, I'm not going to sell or get rid of any of the cold products that I have um, because they're all old. They're all old. They already got the money for it. And half of them, if not most of them, are really really old to where I didn't give them the money to begin with um, but yeah I mean my now I'm not even so sure that they're making their ARs anymore a lot of their stuff is not C marked if you look at it um, if it's if it stamp C that means Colt made it you know their barrels their uppers their lowers whatever um, a lot of their new stuff does not have a C on those parts all the ones that I have have the C they're older and uh, like my 20 inch clone build that I'm doing um, of the AR A4. That's an excellent rifle. That thing shoots lights out all day long. It's a great gun. Um, but Colt will never see another penny from me again. They haven't in a very, very long time. And uh, we gotta stop. We gotta stop allowing these gun companies like Colt or Socialist Armory, AKA Springfield Armory, or Cuck River Arms, or I mean Rock River Arms, you know, that are selling us down the river uh, for profit or you know political advantage or whatever it may be. There, if you're a sec if you're a gun company and you are not wholeheartedly believing in the fucking Second Amendment, then quit your job. You know what I'm saying? You are there to make guns for the free people of this country to use to defend themselves against the tyrannical government and bad guys. And if you're not willing to support that wholeheartedly, then close down shop, get out of the business. We got enough people in this industry trying to just make a quick buck off you, and they don't care about your rights. They don't care about you. They don't care about this country, and I'm sick of it. Same thing with like the shit at Walmart. I still see people fucking shopping at Walmart. Yeah. Further, put the mom you need your business anyway, and that's what America is about. I don't want to hear the excuses, people. Like. Do something. If you, you reap what you sow, if you do not do your part to combat against this bullshit, there's only going to be more bullshit and uh, you're going to be responsible for it. So I'm about to be pulling up to work here in a, in a second. Um, so I'm going to have to get off the chat, but I do appreciate everybody for showing up. But seriously, guys, you got to fight with your voices 
with your dollars and be prepared to do it with your firearms if it ever got to that. So, you know, I'm going to leave you guys with that. Think about it. Mull it over. But hold these people accountable. Hold these motherfuckers accountable for the things that they're doing or the things that they're not doing. Whatever, whatever way it may split down the aisle. Uh, you know, good, bad, or otherwise. So that's that's all I got to say right now on that. Um, I don't have the time to do like a full formal video or whatever. Got a lot of stuff coming up. Stay tuned uh, for everything, you know, in the future, guys. And, uh, you know, make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe. That stuff really, really does help me out a lot. If you do want to help support the channel uh, and get yourself some cool gear or guns or whatever, shop at my affiliate links. I do get a little bit of a kickback. And uh, that goes right back into the channel to do more stuff for the channel. So thank you guys very much. I'm going to get off this before I crash. Um, but I'll see you guys later. Peace.